continue my way on down this thing, see if I can find some you as it opens you up. Your city fishing permit? Uh, no. What's going on, y'all? Welcome to downtown Oklahoma City. They got some sort of a baseball game going on down here at the stadium. The streets are packed. It's a busy Friday night right before Red Bull Rapids, and I'm out here with a fishing rod. I didn't even know there's a river walk out here, and we're gonna see if we can find a bass. I've seen some catfish, some panfish. Wish me luck. Then uh, well, I'm about to put the GoPro on. See if we can find some bass out here. Ooh, it's gonna be a noisy episode, y'all. They got live music out here. People flooding the streets. I really want to hit that current right down there. I know you see it. I'm hoping to get some good reactions tonight of folks as we fish the river here. So see who we might run into. I'm gonna give me a nice little first cast real quick. Right along the wall. Man, I got zero expectations to catch a fish out of here tonight. I could use some dipping glow, that's for sure. Give me some scent, I might find a catfish or something. Oh, I walked down at the wrong spot. Good luck. Hey, appreciate that. Hit the cover, they say. Ain't no fish in this river. Oh, plenty of police out tonight. Hey, y'all. Gonna try and avoid getting kicked out if possible. I will say I have not seen a single sign. If I get a bite, I'm a trip. I just don't think there's a big population of fish in here. And if you look off to your left, you'll see a fisherman. Oh, is that bait fish? There's fish in here. This is gonna be the Mecca, y'all. There's literally... Wow, are those bass or are they? This is gonna be where we find them, y'all. A lot of oxygenated water and there's bait fish. This pocket's gonna be good. If there's any fish in here, we're gonna find them. Oh, no way. I got a bite. Oh, no way. I might have lost my pinchers. Did you catch anything out here? Never before. Never before? Nah, I never fished here though. <laughs> hey, you too, appreciate it. I wonder if I could throw the buzz bait and get a bite. I brought the top water. Anything in here? I've never fished here before. Okay. Uh, so, we'll see. <laughs> I'll tell you in a little bit. Oh, wow, something just picked it up. Oh my gosh. Little fish just picked it up. Let's go. Do we have our pinchers? All right, man, there's a little bluegill here. Where well, there's small fish, there's big fish. I'm getting amped. Which way does this flow out? I gotta see which way I'm gonna go. Ooh, that looks good. Oh, we're going that way. Looks like if we go that way, there's some good water a little ways down. We might be fishing for a while, y'all. It's 9.40 tonight. Might catch me out after midnight. Got anything? Not yet. Okay, here we go, more bait. Look at the little fish here. See him on the surface? Gotta be some big ones lurking. Oh man, it's feeling good about that spot. What you get? Hi, right, looking for bass. Are you doing all right? Yeah, good, how are y'all? Good. You're yeah, approaching me like it. There's no fish in there. There's no fish in here, there's fish in here. Yeah. I checked the, uh, y'all seen the fish brain app? People are logging catches out of here. Catfish, bluegill, all the good stuff, man. <laughs> no, I, I, I haven't seen nothing out here. Haven't? Yeah, I, I figured maybe there's not too many yeah. people fishing it, but <laughs> yeah. Anyways, I'm trying to find some bass, man. So okay. <sighs> on the prowl, I'm trying, dude. I'm trying. I see some little bait fish, so I figured the big one's probably swimming around here somewhere. Y'all having a good night? Yeah. Yeah. Sick, man. Well, hey, I'm gonna continue my way on down this thing. See if I can find some you as it opens you up. Your city fishing permit. Uh, no, actually, I'm from Dallas. Yeah, to fish in Oklahoma, like anywhere in the state, you're supposed to have a state fishing license. Yes, sir. And a municipal uh, fishing permit to fish in Oklahoma City. So is that something so you can get online? So fishing is that something anywhere. I can get online? You can go to Walmart and buy them. Any Walmart in Oklahoma City, you can buy your state fishing license. Got you. you. Can buy, and you can buy your, your city permit license. Like if you go to like Yukon, yes, sir. they don't require city permits, but they require you have a state license to fish in their pond. Yeah, 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 yeah. Their, yeah. their little city ponds. Yeah, stuff. yeah, yeah. Okay, all right. Well. Did you see the memo about this? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I have the memo right here. You think I'd get away with it for like a couple hours or it'd be tough? Yeah, it would be tough because there's also some county guys that work around here too. Really? Yeah, Fair they, enough. They yeah, know, no, I'm not trying to get in trouble. They, I they, just they, try. They'll, they'll probably know a, lot, a little bit more about it than me because they deal with people you know, trying to fish in the canals. So Got too. it. Yeah, no, but, I bet. I bet, yeah. Now, I, would, I would say that to fish in the public good, you have to have at least your state license. Let me. You know, like, I know going to like Hefner Lake and stuff like that. Yes, sir. You have to I'm have not even familiar. I'm right, not even. Like, <laughs> but like, those are like <laughs> some of our city lakes. The fish in the city lakes and stuff too, you have to have not only the state license, but you have to have 
city permits. Different than Texas for sure. They got you, you got your fishing license, but it's not like city to city. Well, part of yeah. Texas. I'm like in Dallas area, north of Dallas a little bit. Some, uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I fish around that every once in a while. I try and find some ponds. You should, you should have been fishing uh, last week with all that water, the 10 inches within the <laughs> So I was gonna, you know, I try to, uh, trying to be successful on YouTube, man. So I'm trying to get the viral videos. I need to go down there and make sure I'm fishing stuff like that. <laughs> and I'll tell you, I'll tell you the water. Finding fish in the canal. Oh, it's not going to be. It, it's not going to be through here. It's going to be near the restaurants. I was going but to. It's going to uh, be hard to do that because people are going to complain the second you come over there. Oh my But all gosh. the fish are right next to the restaurants because yeah. people drop food. Yeah. And so like that's where they're, they're not dumb. They're going to hang out where they're going to get food. I, I knew I was. Uh, this is a challenge, anyways, because I'm trying to find a bass, which is like there's going to be one out of every ten fish yeah, in here might be a the bass. The majority so. of them are perching. I think it's fishing. Right. Now, I didn't either until about. This was probably about four weeks ago. I saw people throwing stuff in the water. And I Did thought you? they were feeding the ducks. And there's freaking catfish. I had a feeling if I used some garlic dipping sauce, that's a popular deal. I don't know if y'all fish or anything, but I bet you I'd find something then because they'd, yeah. they'd smell it. But yeah, there's catfish. I think I don't know how they get in, but I know that this water originally comes from the from the river. Yeah, pump yeah, it yeah, up, yeah. But it doesn't have any connection to it right now. So the because uh, so it doesn't this little actually connect down to it. This app I use, it's like Google Maps, man, but it shows you where people are catching fish, and for oh. sure more people are catching fish oh, yeah. where uh, where it opens up. Okay, so like right where it opens up, those points and everything, that's where people yeah. are logging their catches. So this is so they do like a, a like a like a little river cruise, dinner cruise thing that comes out of this area here. Yeah, and so it comes up in here, goes under here, and just turns around. Okay. Oh, and so they, it doesn't even do anything. This is a canal. I got that you. right there. Those two points, that to that, yes. are about. 30 feet in elevation difference. Got you. This That's is cool. down in a big bowl. Yep. This is up high, and it's this ground level here. So really, if I was going to be catching anything, I'd need to be there down. Right. Well, I'm going to have to go to Walmart. And that's part of the Oklahoma River there. Well, doggone, man. Our journey was cut short. We didn't even make it a quarter of the way to the river. They were they were cool. So you got to have like the Oklahoma license, but apparently you got to have a city license for Oklahoma City specifically. That's what they're making it sound like. So that's some stuff I ain't never heard of, but I don't have it. They said you can grab it at Walmart, so. We might make a pit stop. How was the fishing, sir? It was good. The cops kicked me out, though, man. So I ain't, I ain't gonna find them tonight, unfortunately. The popo. Find me. Do you think there was fish in the canal? I know there's fish in there. Have you ever caught a bass? I'm not from here. I've heard of people catching them. So. Oh, yeah, I've heard of people catching them. So. Got the boot. Yeah, they shut me down, man. They said you can't be fishing out here without the license. I said not even for like another hour or two. What license? Fishing license for the state, but he was telling me to fish here in the city, you gotta have like an extra permit or something. That's a bullshit. I'm like, for some catch release, come on. Anyways, no bass tonight. Just bass. Taylor, you drive side down. You wanna go back to the I gotcha, I gotcha. Thank you. Yeah, we don't want any fish in here. <laughs> right. <laughs> Three days later. On our drive back to Dallas, Devin spotted a pond off the side of the street. So we got the filthy frog, the walking frog right here. Let's start things off. And I bet you even a frog would get their attention. Okay, so there you have it. So many catches logged. It's like they should be loving this frog. Look at all these catches right here in front of this fountain too. That's funny. Let's uh, switch it up. Oh, got him. He came after it as soon as it hit the water. Jeez Louise. That boy ate it. See ya. Oh, got another. Oh, psych. He came off. So here's a good tip for y'all. I mean, this bait is catching fish, right? But this is not what I think would be the best bait for this pond. You look at this grass and it's all gunky. I mean, it's like terrible looking, right? And it's just below the surface right here. Okay. Pretty clear water too. We just got a little rain on our way in and it just hit this pond. So maybe it murked it up just a hair, but there's decent visibility. So what I'm getting at is a soft plastic jerk bait, something like, uh, you know, your Zoom Salty Super Flukes, your Guggen Darts and any other manufacturers, right? Just your soft plastic jerk baits. Just rig that up weightless on a Texas rig hook and just pop that thing, right? The go-to rod's perfect for that. Seven foot, medium heavy, fast action, okay? So if we had those soft plastic jerk baits, you'd be able to just kind of pop, 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 and then you just let it sit right in the strike zone. And you're probably gonna get hit close to the grass edge here. So you'd pop, 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 and you'd let it pause right here by the grass. Now this is half an ounce, okay? So you have to be working it pretty quick. And what I've noticed is the only time I'm getting bites is right when it hits the water. So you're getting that reaction strike. They barely know what it is. You just got lucky with the cast and they go for it. Because even that one that kind of chased it, my first bite over there, it chased it all the way up, but it just kind of like nibbled at the tail, like get out of my area. I'm not really wanting to eat you. So they're eating this out of reaction, not necessarily because it's the perfect bait for the spot. So I'd probably try something like an all white uh, fluke style bait, soft plastic jerk bait. And I bet you you'd get more bites just letting it sit right along the grass edges around this pond. 
Uh, we are now further south. This is right next to Turner Falls. We were gonna just, uh, we saw the exit. We're like, we haven't been there in a long time. Let's go check it out. And this pond is like right off the exit. Uh, it looks like an old hotel, lodge, I guess. Let me throw this blazing worm around a little bit, weightless. Let's see if we can find something. There's good cover, there's good shade. Devin's on fish brain right now. She's just hanging out in the shade. <laughs> She's gonna find us a good spot to go to if this one doesn't hit. Getting bites. He's got it. Got him. Right by the dock, yes. <laughs> oh, that was perfect. Oh no, I didn't bring any plastics over here and this guy ripped his tail off. Well, we're throwing the blazing worm without the blazing tail now. I'll get more hits. Gotta be more right there. That was the perfect cast, just right. Uh, it's on the dock, I'm gonna let it drop. Ooh, give it slack, let it fall right in the shade. There's one. This one's a little bit bigger. Got him. How you doing? Good, how are you, sir? You have permission to be here? No, my wife and I were just driving by, gonna stop at Turner Falls, and we saw this, and I, I didn't see any signs. I figured it's not a big deal. Well, we'll get out of here then. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay, so do not fish what appears to be a shutdown lodge, because it's uh, not allowed. How's it going? Right, how are you? Good. You finding them? I haven't found a single one yet. Really? <laughs> oh my goodness. Yeah, it's uh, it's not as clear as usual, huh? I found a lot of uh, weed and uh, no, bags. I, I a oh of my gosh. Have you caught them? Uh, no, she just got a bite, so she came and grabbed some more worms from me, but uh, I figure something like spinner bait, something like what you're using is probably better, but. Yeah, it's not getting anything. Okay, fair enough. Well, we'll see what happens then. Okay, Have a good night. Gotcha. She's on. Come on. Woohoo. The first little guy. I was just, oh, come back. I was just thinking I might change baits and switch to a black and blue chatter bait because this water is so dirty. But that black and blue blazing worm paid off. All right, first guy. Bye. There we go, out by the aerator. <laughs> he was swimming with it for a minute. <sighs> See you, bud. Good one. Better. Get out of here. Woohoo! There we go, ladies and gents. Ooh, hold on. Okay. All right, second one. The bite is picking up. Yeah, bye, dude. Woo. The one guy we just ran into, he was throwing a bunch of spinner baits and he said he wasn't having much luck. So I think it's all about the bottom right now. I think this is a quarter ounce weight we're using. Fish. Got him right off the drain. Nice. She's got two, I've got two. She might even have more. That was like the, I mean, that was just the perfect spot. You knew there was gonna be one there, right? <laughs> My goodness, nothing huge out of this pond this evening, but a lot of fun to close out the uh, multiple days of fishing here in today's episode. Oh my goodness, blazing warm, getting it done. I chose that black and blue because this water is a little bit murked up. It might have rained here in Texas today as well, uh, just as it did up in Oklahoma, and that will always get the water here more stained. Usually it slows down that bite, which is probably why that gentleman I just ran into recently who was throwing like spinner baits and stuff along those lines wasn't getting hits. I think they're just a little bit lower, a little bit slower, right? Uh, I don't know if a spinner bait cast in that same spot would have caught that fish. It just depends, right? Got to identify that pattern. A quick notes as we close this thing out, y'all, I've caught just about all my fish off of predictable areas, like anywhere that maybe there's rock along the bank, right? I didn't catch it right off the rock, but that drain specifically, that's just a little inlet for water and uh, an, an inlet for insects, an inlet for essentially food, okay? 
And so that is exactly why we got the bite there. Now, that one out there in the middle was right off of one of the aerators. There's a few I see out in the middle. I casted right to that aerator. I'm trying to block the wind for a second. That's why I turned away from the pond. Essentially, you know, I casted right out by that aerator. I let it fall with this, I think it's like a quarter ounce weight here. We've got tungsten, which is a little bit more dense than the uh, typical lead weight. So it's like not as big for the same size weight. And typically they're color matched. They're either black or like a green pumpkin color. I got like a four aught hammer hook here and then I got this blazing worm. I got one more in my pocket, but this thing's still getting the job done even though it's got a slight rip. So I'm just kind of rigging them up a little differently to make the most out of every plastic. Always a, a keynote and something you should be <laughs> thinking about doing yourself. Muscle rod, which you know, go-to rod might be a little bit more applicable for today's instance, just lightweight and everything. But we got a nice strong rod for this thing. It's a 7.5 heavy extra fast. What I mentioned about the fish in the predictable areas is that, um, you know, these are the things that just look a little bit different. You know, if I'm just casting and reeling like I did much of the bank here, I wasn't getting much. Then when I go for that aerator, I go for that drain, I fish off the point, that's when I was getting those catches. So just something to think about. Cast it, any sort of structure or cover you see. Obviously there's some grass along the edge of this place, so I've been hitting that parallel. And I just kind of cast them right along the edge because all the small fish like to hide in there. And then the big fish are just right along the edge, right? The bass, they're right along the edge looking for something to eat. That's when you're swimming by with that blazing worm and boom, you get hit. So just a couple little tips as we close this thing out this evening. But what a uh, couple days out here starting in Oklahoma, getting kicked out. Make sure you grab your fishing licenses. That was just a, an honest mistake, obviously. We, we went across state lines for one day. I was like, let me grab this rod and just head to the place right by the hotel. And uh, yeah, you saw what happened. So... Uh, they sent the cavalry out for us uh, since we were fishing what you would assume is definitely allowed to be fished. But anyways, see you again. We will have you arrested.